What's up everybody? Today we're going to be kicking things up a notch. First we got some Jamaican jerk chicken with some sauteed cabbage, brown rice and black beans. And then for the second meal we have some sweet and sour string bean chicken to go along with some more brown rice. Let's go ahead and prep our protein and our veggies but first All right, let's go ahead and get started with the sweet and sour string bean chicken. I've already added two and a half tablespoons of the balsamic vinegar to this cup. I have one fourth cup of rice wine vinegar. I have two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, and then I'm gonna use one tablespoon of cornstarch. I'll go ahead and mix all that up, add that to the chicken, and then I'll let that stand and marinate for about 30 minutes. Okay, I removed the chicken from the pan. Now, all the brown stuff that you see in the bottom of the pan, do not clean your pan. You want that good stuff in there. I'll go ahead and add two tablespoons of grapeseed oil to the pan, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grate some garlic and ginger. So about two to three cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of grated ginger. I'll let that cook for about 20, 30 seconds. Then I'll go ahead and add one cup of red pepper, one cup of red onion, a half a cup of green pepper, four to five stalks of celery chopped, and then two and a half cups of string bean chicken. I'll let that go ahead and cook for a few minutes, and then we'll add our chicken back to the pan. Before I add the chicken back to the pan, I'll add the rest of my wet and dry ingredients. I have one cup of low sodium chicken broth, I have one fourth cup of reduced sugar ketchup. And then I have about four packets of stevia. Like I said before, you could use agave. This is probably the equivalent to about two teaspoons of stevia. Then I'll go ahead and add my chicken back and then I'll stir it up. Now remember, we added cornstarch to the mixture early on. So that's gonna really help to create a, a thicker sauce rather than a broth. Mm, now that's really starting to look good. Now, like any good chef, you gotta go ahead and taste your food. So let's go ahead and get a couple bites of this going. Okay, now that I've tasted the food, I am absolutely assured that this is one of my favorite recipes. This is so good. I know I'm going to be able to eat this day after day without getting tired of it. It's just that good. Let's go ahead and get started on the Jamaican jerk chicken. Now for both recipes, I'm using about three pounds of chicken, but for the jerk chicken, I'm going to use one tablespoon of Weber Jamaican jerk season. I have one teaspoon of cardamom, one teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of sage, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Uh, the juice of two limes, I'm going to use one fourth cup of low sodium soy sauce, and then I'll go ahead and add two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. I'll mix all these up. I'll put that on the chicken. Again, let it marinate for at least 30 minutes before cooking. If you have the opportunity to do it ahead of time, four to six hours, and let it sit in, in the refrigerator, it'll really soak up that spice, but at least 30 minutes. All right, I have my two pans sitting on the stove preheating. I'll spray them with some olive oil spray. Then I'll go ahead and put the chicken in both pans. Be careful not to over uh, crowd your chicken. Then I'll let the chicken cook on the first side for about four to five minutes, right until I start to see the edges turn white. And then I'll go ahead and flip it and cook it on the other side for another four or five minutes or so. You want to just go ahead and you know crack one piece open, make sure it's good to go inside. Then I'll take the chicken off and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients back to the dish and then we'll add the chicken back again and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil to the pan uh, to get all the bits up off the bottom and then I'm going to put some garlic in the pan to saute it. Now I decided to use a garlic press rather than sitting there grating the garlic. It's much easier. All I do is put it in the hole, squeeze the top handle down, and the garlic comes out uh, minced and ready to go. So let's go ahead and add some jalapeno to it now. 
The jalapeno, there's two jalapenos I'm using. I took the seeds out of one and left the seeds in the other. That way you can make it as spicy or not as spicy as you like. If you want a little bit more spicier, leave all the seeds in. I'll add the remaining red onion that I had chopped up and used in earlier dishes and the last little bit of the celery as well. Now what I'm going to be doing is going back and forth between this and the cabbage, but I'm going to let this salt tape for a couple of minutes. Now the cabbage I've already cut up and shredded. To this I want to go ahead and start adding the rest of my ingredients. I have some red onion, red bell pepper, and green bell pepper. And I'll add some Italian seasoning. Now I noticed that the the jerk chicken uh, vegetables were starting to cook, so I want to get in there and stir that up a little bit. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and add the chicken back to that. I'll stir that up and I'll let that cook for a few moments before I take it off the stove altogether. But that's really coming together. That's going to be so good. So that over a little bit of rice with this cabbage that I'm about to go ahead and finish here in a second. Now I've added some salt, some pepper, some onion powder, and that's about it. I'm going to stir this up. I'll let this saute for about 15 minutes. Don't need to add any juice to it. Um, cabbage makes its own water, so it's good to go. That'll cook, and then we can go ahead and start meal prepping everything. So the jerk chicken came out amazing. Now I had some brown rice in the rice cooker cooking, so I'm going to go ahead and plate that up. That's all done. All right, so I've laid out all the ingredients for meal prep. So let's go ahead and assemble everything. I have the brown rice with the sauteed cabbage that's topped with green onions. And then I have Jamaican jerk chicken to go with black beans and sweet and sour chicken. Grab my scale, I'll zero that out. We'll put about four to about 4.5 ounces of the Jamaican jerk chicken in there. The reason I'm going over the four ounces is just because it has all the vegetables in there. I'll do a quarter cup of brown rice and one cup of cabbage. All right, so the Jamaican chicken is all done. I've already prepped that. Now let's go ahead and put this sweet and sour string bean chicken together. Now I do have some of the sauteed cabbage left over. You can never have too many vegetables, so I throw that in there as well. Now I'll do a quarter cup of brown rice, just like before. And then I'm gonna probably do about five ounces of the string bean chicken. Again, it has a lot of vegetables in there. And then I'll go ahead and I'll add a quarter cup of the sauteed cabbage and then I'll keep repeating till it's all complete. wrap everything up for today's episode of meal prepping i hope you enjoyed it if you like this and you want to see more please subscribe don't forget to like comment and share this now remember to stay focused stay positive and keep it moving good day everybody